Prepsters, the TCS Ninja syllabus has gone through various changes, especially in their pattern and difficulty level. In this video, we will be discussing all these changes in detail. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a new video. We will be uploading videos daily related to placements that will help you in your placement journey. Now let's get started with the video and help you deal with the new changes that you will be facing. The TCS Ninja hiring takes place two to three times a year. Students from any college can apply for the hiring drive this time. Unlike last year, they will be hiring from over 3,000 colleges all over India. They will be hiring around 20,000 students from their hiring drive. The major change that has happened this year is that there will be only one single exam for the both TCS Digital as well as the TCS Ninja positions. The major change that has happened this year is that they are conducting only one exam for both the Digital as well as the TCS Ninja position. The Ninja position has a package of about 3.5 LPA and the Digital position has a package of about 6.5 to 7 LPA. Now let's discuss this in detail. The registration link is available one month prior to the exam. The registration process can get a little lengthy and confusing as well because it has a lot of information that you need to read very carefully. But don't worry because we have a video dedicated specially to this registration process, the link to which is mentioned in the description box below. It is not mandatory for all the colleges to have the orientation round by TCS Ninja. They only handpick a few top grade A colleges for this orientation or the PPT round. The HRs of the company visit these colleges and discuss about the salaries, the workplace culture and the growth opportunities and other details. Due to the high registration, the TCS Ninja exam happens over two days with multiple slots each day. Now let's talk about the sections. The aptitude section has 15 questions and you get 30 minutes for it. The verbal English section has 10 minutes and you get 15 questions in it as well. This happens in the form of closed test and there is a slight possibility that there may be a change in this section. In case that happens, we will update our website. The third section will be the programming logic or the CMCQ section which has 10 questions and you get 20 minutes for it. The last section which is the coding ability round has one problem and you get 30 minutes for it. In total, you get 41 questions and a time of 90 minutes. Once you clear the written round, you move on to the interview round. Your interview panel will have three members. One will be technical, one will be HR, and the third one will be a managerial member. Each of them will ask you questions one by one. We will discuss this in detail further in the video. The offer letter will reach you within 15 days and the joining date will be between 15 to 30 days. The salary for TCS Ninja position ranges from 3.4 to 3.5 LPA depending on the grade of your college. This translates to about 24,000 per month after any deductions of taxes. The TCS Digital position, on the other hand, has a package of 6.5 to 7 LPA. The TCS Ninja exam has four sections, Quants, Verbal, CMCQ and Coding Ability. The Aptitude section has 15 questions and you get 30 minutes for it. Out of these, 10 questions will be MCQ type, where you will be given four options and you have to choose the correct one, and the other five will be non-MCQ or the fill-in-the-box type. In these, you have to enter the value by rounding it off up to two decimals. For example, in a speed, time and distance question, if your answer is 90.459 seconds, you have to enter that as 90.46. It is very important for you to answer these questions correctly because they will break or make your chance to go forward to the interview round. The MCQ questions carry one mark each with 0.33 negative and the non-MCQ questions which are the star marked questions carry two marks each with no negative marking. However, TCS keeps changing their negative mark strategy. Like last year, the MCQ questions had minus two negative and the non-MCQ had minus three negative. So it's very important that you read the instructions very carefully before you start the exam. The topics in this section which are important are geometry, trains, permutation and combination, Sudoku ability and reasoning. The verbal section has 15 questions and you get an allocated time of 10 minutes. This happens in the form of closed test, but there is a high chance that that may change this year. In case that happens, we will be the first ones to know and we will update our TCS Smart Ninja dashboard on the website, the link to which is mentioned in the description box below. 
Each question in this section carries one mark and a 0.33 negative marking. The CMCQ section has 10 questions and you get 20 minutes. This section was earlier called Programming Logic section, but from now on it's called the CMCQ section. Out of these questions, 7 are MCQ type with 1 mark and 0.33 negative marking. The others are fill in the box type with 2 marks and no negative marking. The topics in this section are basic C input output questions, data types, linked lists, trees, in order, pre order, and post order questions. This section also has command line programming MCQs in it. Apart from that, since it also has FUB type of questions, prepare very well for it. This section can be fairly difficult for non-IT students, which is why we pay special attention to this in our TCS Ninja online classes. For our YouTube subscribers, we have a special discount for these online classes, the details to which we will mention in the end of the video. Finally, the coding round will have one problem question and you will get 30 minutes to solve it. You can code in any of the following languages, C, C++, Java, Perl or Python. Note that you do not have to code in CLP in this section. From the last three years, the questions have been continuously repeated from our paid materials and online classes. You can get a preview of these questions in our TCS Ninja dashboard which is mentioned on our website and the link to that is mentioned in the description box below. The interview process of TCS Ninja is slightly difficult. There will be three members on your interview panel like we mentioned earlier. The technical member will ask you coding questions and engineering stream specific subjects. The HR member will ask you workplace culture related questions and can also ask you some tricky puzzles. There will be a lot of coding questions and they will ask you about your project and the various technologies used in it in detail. They may also ask you to code, draw or explain any specific part of a code. The managerial member will ask you stress-based questions and try and make you uncomfortable by asking you situational analysis questions. For example, they may ask you if your best friend who works in TCS along with you is using work hours and the work computer to work on personal projects and client work, how will you handle this situation? To this, you must strictly answer that you will speak to your friend about it and ask him or her to discontinue this practice. Since TCS is bound by certain client data protection legal obligations and failing to adhere to these will cost TCS millions of dollars. And hence, your friend should stop this immediately. If he or she does not stop it, you must report to the manager immediately. The interview process can get a little lengthy and tedious. In fact, one of our students had a one hour long process and he ended up getting selected as well. Okay, uh, hello guys. Uh, so I hope the video, the previous version of the video was really helpful. So what I thought I'll also give my inputs on the uh, TCS recruitment pattern or the syllabus. Mostly uh, the exam this year is going to be a little difficult because we see the Ninja profile that is 3.5 LPA package and the digital profile that is approximately 7, right? Uh, those two being merged together, so which is why the difficulty level of the exam would definitely be increasing, that is one thing for sure. The coding would be a lot difficult and in fact, uh, we take care of that in our online classes really well because most of the students who are applying are non-CS and IT people, right? So, uh, either they are not very good at, co good at coding or maybe uh, they were earlier but it has been about three years since when you started or when you left, uh, you know, all the coding uh, type of subjects that you had in college. So that is what we really take care of uh, in the online classes that we have, especially also for the programming logic section. Apart from that, what I'd also like to highlight is uh, mock test is how students really try to prepare for, that, for their exams. But it's not actually the case. Mock tests are only good when you have actually prepared really well for about two, three months. And then you want to analyze your position and level. At a preparation level, I would recommend to study from a smart dashboard which we've given on Prep Insta, that would really help you a lot because those analytics are very good in real time and they give you convenience of how you study or prepare from books and better than the books, right? So that is what I, I would highly recommend. Uh, in fact, with our online classes and materials, around 91% of the people who were selected in TCS last year had chosen our platform, right? So uh, give, give the best shot at the exam and uh, we'd, uh, we'd upload so many other videos on our YouTube channel as well. For your help so make sure you subscribe as well
This video should have answered a lot of your doubts, but if you still have any more questions, please feel free to comment down below because we answer all the queries that are mentioned in the comment section. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends who are also preparing along with you for their placements. Now for the big surprise, we have a 25% discount code for the online classes as well as paid material subscription which is mentioned in the description box below.